We will be traveling south through the hinterlands to the ruin of Ostagar, on the edges of the Korkari Wilds. The Tevinter Imperium built Ostagar long ago to prevent the Wilders from invading the northern lowlands. It's fitting we make our stand here, even if we face a different foe within that forest. The King's forces have clashed with the Darkspawn several times, but here is where the bulk of the Horde will show itself. There are only a few Grey Wardens within Ferelden at the moment, but all of us are here. Where is everyone this else? This light must be stopped, here and now. If it spreads to the north, Ferelden will fall. Ho there, Duncan. King Kaelan. I didn't expect oh. a... A royal welcome? I was beginning to worry you'd miss all the fun. Not if I could help it, your majesty. Then I'll have the mighty Duncan at my side in battle after all. Glorious. The other wardens told me you'd found a promising recruit. I take it this is she? Allow me to introduce you, your majesty. No need, Duncan. You are Bryce's youngest, are you not? I don't think we've ever actually met. Oh no, I don't like the tone of this guy already. He makes it sound like it's all a game that he's playing or something. Oh, the mighty Duncan! We're gonna go fight some Darkspawn now! Oh no. I'm still reeling from my mother and father just... Ugh, that whole thing and I don't have time to deal with this. Yeah, exactly. Are you, are you aware that my dad is dead right now and you're like, Hi! Yes, I am. And I bring important news. Is it about your father? Your brother has been concerned about him. He's not coming. He died when our castle was taken. Dead? What do you mean? Duncan, do you know anything about this? Terran Kuzland and his wife are dead, your majesty. Arl Howe has shown himself a traitor and overtaken High Ever Castle. Had we not escaped, he would have killed us and told you any story he wished. I can scarcely believe it. Well, how could he think he could get away with such treachery? As soon as we are done here, I will turn my army north and bring Howe to justice. You have my word. Well, thank you, King. Shouldn't you be... You're all dressed up like you're ready to fight on the front lines, which worries me a bit, because shouldn't the King usually be a little bit further back? Thank you, Your Majesty. No doubt you wish to see your brother. Unfortunately, he and his men are scouting in the wilds. When will he return? Not until the battle is over, I fear. Until then, we cannot even send word. I apologize, but there's nothing more I can do. All I can suggest is that you vent your grief against the Darkspawn for the time being. So as long as Arl Howe pays, I'm happy. I'm sorry to cut this short, but I should return to my tent. Loghain waits eagerly to bore me with his strategies. Your or uncle you. sends his greetings and reminds you that Redcliffe forces could be here in less than a week. Ha! <laughs> Eamon just wants in on the glory. We've won three battles against these monsters, and tomorrow should be no different. Yeah, I know this guy. I don't think he has what it takes to be a, a true leader here. But we have Duncan, and he admires the Grey Wardens a lot, so we could totally try to use that to our advantage here. I didn't realize things were going so well. I'm not even sure this is a true blight. There are plenty of Darkspawn on the field, but alas, we've seen no sign of an Archdemon. Disappointed, Your Majesty? I'd hoped for a war like in the tales. A king riding with the fabled Grey Wardens against a tainted god. But I suppose this will have to do. I must go before Loghain sends out a search party. Farewell, Grey Wardens. Farewell. Oh, is that like a special greeting? Crossing my arms in front of me and then bowing? What the king said is true. They've won several battles against the Darkspawn here. Yet, you don't sound very reassured. Despite the victory so far, the Darkspawn horde grows larger with each passing day. By now, they look to outnumber us. I know there is an arch demon behind this, but I cannot ask the king to act solely on my feeling. So the arch demon is like boss darkspawn. Regular darkspawn are more like pawns, foot soldiers. And the arch demons sound like they're the ones with the, um, the strategies and the tactics and all that. And if we defeat him, then we can get rid of a whole bunch of darkspawn. Why not? 
He seems to regard the Grey Wardens highly. Yet not enough to wait for reinforcements from the Grey Wardens of Orlais. He believes our legend alone makes him invulnerable. Our numbers in Ferelden are too few. We must do what we can and look to Terran Loghain to make up the difference. To that end, we should proceed with the joining ritual without delay. What do you mean? What ritual? Every recruit must go through a secret ritual we call the joining in order to become a Grey Warden. The ritual is brief, but some preparation is required. We must begin soon. Is that like a... is that just a symbolism thing? Or actually, I do wonder, as a Grey Warden, do I get special abilities? Or can I do magic? Or do I get discounts at a shop or something? What, what does being a Grey Warden really mean? Why is this ritual so secret? The joining is dangerous. I cannot speak more of it except to say that you will learn all in good time. Until then, you must trust that what is done is necessary. Am I the only recruit you have? No, there are two other recruits here already. They have been waiting for us to arrive. What about Sir Gilmore? He could have been good too. And he was still at the castle. I don't even know... Am I assuming that he's just dead then? Because if... If my mother and father are still in the castle, and he was in the castle, and chances don't look good for him. What do you need me to do? Feel free to explore the camp here as you wish. All I ask is that you do not leave it for the time being. There is another Grey Warden in the camp by the name of Alistair. When you're ready, seek him out and tell him it's time to summon the other recruits. Your hound can stay with me while I attend to some business. The Grey Warden tent is on the other side of this bridge. You will find us there should you need to. Is the first option always the conversation ending option? I think that's the case. I'll have to be a little bit careful. Whoa! This is definitely a bigger area than our castle. And yet, I still can't see the overworld map. So I guess this will have to make do for now. King's Highway. Alistair, joining the Grey Wardens. Oh, that's the name of the quest. Quartermaster. So this is like a military camp. Mm-hmm. Korkari Wilds. That is, um, like moving to a different map, that symbol? Yes. Dog Kennels, Duncan's Fire. Okay, well... Yeah, let's, um, let's digest everything a little bit. I just lost my parents. My brother isn't back yet. I can't even, I can't even tell my brother what happened yet. My only family left on this earth. Actually, that might not be true. We might have other distant relatives somewhere. Uh, is there anything worth going back for here? Seems pretty plain, actually. Oh. Make her watch over you, my lady. Thank you. Now that I'm not at Castle Kuzlan anymore, I wonder if anybody recognizes... Like, do I still have any sort of standing with anybody? Or do they all think I'm just some young girl who just suddenly got elevated? Well, the whole Grey Warden thing probably helps. But we don't know too much about the specifics yet. Yeah, there's just random soldiers keeping guard here, I think. Well, it doesn't hurt to look around and just... get a bit of, um... stabilize my emotions before we go talk to other people. Today, two units of men arrived every hour, and they expect to double that tomorrow. Still, the Tern worries that may not be enough. Are the Darkspawn still considered people? Today, two units of men arrived every hour, and they expect to double that tomorrow. Because if they're doubling like that, like, how is a darkspawn made? You don't know too much about anything. And I don't know if it's, like, a thing that I don't know about personally, or is it something that, as a Ferelden as a whole, doesn't really understand too much of. The Tower of Ishal is off-limits. The men stationed inside are securing it now. What is the Tower of Ishal? I think they used it once to watch for wilders coming out of the forest. Why is the tower off-limits exactly? By orders of Terran Loghain. The tower is being secured by his men to be used during battle. 
I'm told they discovered some lower chambers, and they don't know how far down they go, so for now, everyone's to stay out. Lower chambers? I didn't see anything like that when I was there, but who knows? This is a pretty large ruin. Goes back to the time of the Tevinter Imperium. Dwarven make. That's probably why it's still standing. Hmm, I see. Thank you. I should go. Make a speed your steps. Dwarves haven't really come up yet. Humans, dwarves, elves, I think these are the only races that we have here for now. Elves definitely have shown some signs of being human slaves. But dwarves, on the other hand, I get the impression it's a little bit different. Haven't seen any dwarven slaves yet. So maybe it's um not exactly the same dynamic. Okay, maybe now would be a good time to maybe read a little bit of what we have, because I'm sure we have a lot. Let's read about characters. King, the king. King Kaelin Thayrin. I had hoped for a war like in the tales, a king riding with the fabled Great Wardens against a tainted god. Son of the legendary King Merrick Thayrin, Caelan was the first Ferelden king born into a land free from foreign rule in two generations. Since his father's death, he's held the throne alongside his queen, Anora. Can I take free from foreign rule to mean peace? Someone who was born in the time of peace might be not sensitive to how fragile that is. So maybe that's why he's all like, Oh, Grey Wardens are so cool! And stuff like that. How? This one updated, right? We read this one already, I think? When Bryce sent his men to support the king at Ostagar, Howe took it as an opportunity to attack High Ever, slaughtering the people there and claiming the lands and title as his own. Of all the inhabitants of Castle Coosland, only Wellen survived. Mm, Sir Gilmore's gone then. Mm. Terran Locane Mactir. It takes more than legends to win a battle. Locane was born a farmer during a time when his country was still under foreign occupation. When he was still a boy, he joined the resistance, where his considerable tactical genius quickly became apparent. He became close friends with Prince Merrick, the last true heir to the Ferelden throne. What does true heir mean? Why is Caelan not a true heir? <laughs> and together, they led the rebels to drive out the forces of the Orlesian Empire. Merrick raised his friend to the nobility, and Loghain is now more of a symbol than a man. He represents the Ferelden ideals of hard work and independence. The Terran of the lands we're at right now. Okay. Culture and history? Oh. Dogs and Ferelden. Oh, you know, this, you know, yeah. The noble families of Ferelden. The occupation left empty castles in its wake. Whole families were butchered in the initial invasion, and all those who couldn't or wouldn't bend knee to the emperor's puppet king were declared traitors and hunted. Many bloodlines ended on Chevalier's blades at dusty crossroads, in forest clearings, or in freeholds. And then there were the turncoats. To curry favor with their new masters, some nobles took up arms against their brothers. They betrayed and murdered the rebel queen, an act that created even more vacant titles and lands once King Merrick exacted justice. That Ferelden did not fall apart after the Orlesians left as a testament to the strength of King Merrick. The old families still held grudges against those who had sided with the Emperor, and those new families that had been granted titles were viewed as interlopers. The lands meets that followed Merrick's coronation were tense, to say the least. The King Merrick actually did stuff, and then he died. Like, he, he united everything, and then he died, and then his son took over. So his son doesn't know anything about how to keep all these different factions tied together, united as one. I don't think. I could be wrong, but looking at that guy didn't exactly instill me with confidence on his abilities about... anything. <laughs> Make her watch over you, my lady. Is that what a typical Ferelden warrior looks like? This castle is kind of... broken. It's not like a... current day castle, I guess? We're just sort of camping out here. Because it's close to the wilds. A close point to... access our enemies. Hey, you must be the Grey Warden recruit that Duncan brought. Yes. This place hasn't seen such bustle in centuries, I'll wager. Need a hand getting anywhere? Tell me about Ostagar. 
Used to be a fortress long time ago, so I understand. Back in the days when the Wilders used to invade the lowlands. You were just on the eastern side of the ruin. The Tower of Ishal is there, but Tern Loganes closed it off until the battle. This side is the King's Camp. We've got the Grey Wardens here, the Circle of Magi, the Chantry. You can't swing a dead cat without hitting somebody important. What does that mean? <laughs> I don't understand that. You can't swing a dead cat without hitting somebody important. Okay. Do I hear dogs barking? This is Ferelden, isn't it? The king has his kennels on the west side of camp. Stinks from all the hounds. These aren't cute puppies, though. Some of those dogs bite the dark spawn and get too much of that blood in them. It's like poison. Slow, painful death. Terrible. That sounds like the dark spawn have some sort of infectious ability. Or at least we shouldn't be drinking their blood at the minimum. The circle of magi is here? A few mages, yes. They even brought those creepy quiet fellows, the Tranquil. Gives me the shivers when they talk, all cold and even. They're to the north of here, bunched up with a herd of Templars glaring at them. Can't miss it. Templars? Where is the king? Probably in his tent. He and Tern Loghain are on the southwest side of the camp. The king likes to spend time with his soldiers, though. Sometimes even without his bodyguards. Drives Tern Loghain wild, that does. Is there anywhere to get supplies? Quartermaster, he's just a bit to the northwest. I want to ask you about something else. Go on then. Where is Duncan's tent? Not far. It's straight ahead, just past the royal encampment. Most of your fellas are in the valley with the army, but the recruits seem to be staying up here for now. Hmm. I'm looking for a Grey Warden named Alistair. Try heading north. I think he was sent with a message to the mages. Okay, thank you. I'll be on my way. Good luck to you, then. Ossigar. That's where we are right now. Actually, you know what? Could probably get a bit of an intro. Representing the furthest point of enroachment by the ancient Tevinter Imperium. Tevinter Imperium. Into the barbarian lands of the southeast, the fortress of Ossigar was once one of the most important defensive holdings south of the Waking Sea. It was once, but no longer clearly. It stood at the edge of the Kokari Wilds watching for any signs of invasion by the barbarians known today as the Chastened Wilders. Straddling a narrow pass in the hills, the fortress needed to be bypassed to reach the fertile lowlands to the north and proved to be exceedingly difficult for Wilders to attack because of its naturally defensible position. Like most imperial holdings in the south, Ostagar was abandoned after the winter's collapse during the first blight. It was successfully sacked by the Chasten Wilders and then, as the Chasten threat dwindled following the creation of the modern Ferelden nation, fell to ruin completely. It has remained unmanned for four centuries, though most of the walls still stand, as does the tall tower of Ishal, named after the great Archon, that ordered its construction. Ostagar remains a testament to the magical power of the Imperium that created it. Hmm. So it's basically just, once upon a time, lots of stuff happened here. It was um, a wall. A wall against our enemies, but no longer because we've had peace, relative peace for a while. And it just hasn't been in any sort of use. What is- whoa. I'm sorry, but the mages must not be interrupted. What are they doing? I'm sorry, but a the Templar. mages must not be interrupted. So a Templar is like a mage bodyguard? Is that what's happening? The mages must not be interrupted. <laughs> Their spirits are in the Fade. The Fade? The Fade is the realm of dreams and the land of the dead. Or so the mages tell us. Regardless, they are not to be disturbed. Not even by Grey Wardens. I apologize. I'll go elsewhere. Hi. Hail to you. It's like a different realm. Can I read? Oh, that's it. Magi encampment. Stand here in this hour, good folk of Ferelden, and we contemplate the death that may await. Death is no failure, my friends. Should it find you, you will not have failed your king. You will have served your maker. 
die in this battle, and when you stand before the Maker in the land beyond the Fade, he shall not find you wanting. Go not into death gladly, but with the knowledge that evil has been held at bay by your spilled blood. And if you go to stand beside the Maker, go with our blessing, for you shall not be forgotten. My friends, let us bow our heads and remember those who have fallen and those who have yet to fall. Bow in my head. Religion is a big thing in Ferelden, it seems like. I do not have time to speak at present, thank you. Sorry. I apologize. Win. Greetings, young lady. You are Duncan's newest recruit, are you not? He's not a man easily impressed. You should be proud. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Win, one of the mages summoned by the king. Pleased to meet you. I'm Wallens. Well met, and good luck to you on the battlefield. To us all, in fact. Will you be fighting beside the king? Not precisely. The Grey Wardens will be on the front lines, not the mages. Still, we have our parts to play. To defeat the Darkspawn, we have to work together. It's not an idea everyone seems able to grasp. Hmm, despite Ferelden supposedly being united now, not really. Not really. You faced Darkspawn before? Stragglers, yes. Not the vast horde the scouts speak of. I wonder, how much do you know of the connection between Darkspawn and the Fade? Not at all. I know the Fade is where you go when you dream. Anytime your spirit leaves your earthly body, whether it's to dream or to die, it passes into the realm we call the Fade. It's home to many spirits, some benevolent, others far less so. At the heart of the Fade lies the Black City. That's a very concrete thing. Yeah, because you're telling me, oh, when you dream, you're in another realm. Okay, that makes sense, but you're telling me there's a city. There's a city in the realm that I go to when I dream or die. What's the Black City? Some say the Black City was once the seat of the Maker. But when the mages from the Tevinter Imperium found a way into the city, it was tainted with their sin. That taint transformed those men, turning them into twisted reflections of their own hearts. And the Maker cast them back to the Earth, where they became the first Darkspawn. At least, that's what the Chant of Light says. Ah, back in the beginning cutscene, I did go back and watch it again. And uh, even the quote, the quote in the very beginning, it mentioned something about how there was a golden city, which is kind of like heaven, and then people try to sin against it, which is how Darkspawn became Dark Spawn. And is that true? It may be allegory, meant to teach us that our own evil causes human suffering. Or it may be true. It is as good an explanation as any for now. Yeah, the important thing is we gotta defeat them. Where they come from, it's... Yeah, that's interesting to know too, but it's not the main thing here. At least it's something to ponder. Yes. Occasionally, it's wise to contemplate one's actions. But I'm certain Duncan has more for you to do than talk to me. You mentioned that the Grey Wardens all- they'll be the ones in the front lines, but how many of us are there? There's only three in this entire camp right now, including me. I've barely done anything, so that's not very reassuring. Back again? Don't the Grey Wardens need you? Off you go. I have preparations to make for the battle and I won't be distracted. Okay, thank you for indulging in me. Hear the prayers of your sons and daughters. We who betrayed your prophet Andraste now beg your forgiveness. Do not abandon us in our Andraste. Watch over the valiant King Kalen and guide him as he faces this terrible evil. Watch over Terran Logain and give him the wisdom to bring us victory against the scourge of shadow. Watch over Ferelden, the homeland of Holy Andraste. Keep her people safe from the darkspawn. Let us bow our heads and offer prayers to the Maker, that he might find us worthy. We betrayed the Prophet Andraste? Is that something like a, oh, humans are sinners kind of thing? Hello? Hail to you! Oh, Tranquil. Welcome, young woman. Who are you? I am one of the Tranquil, my friend. I am of the Circle of Magi. 
but instead of casting spells and reading tomes, I spend my time enchanting. It is a time-consuming process, but invaluable. Enchantment provides the circle its wealth. Certainly, we would not get by on charity. The king is not paying you anything for helping save the world? I see what the guy was talking about when he said, Ooh, the tranquil people talk weird. Okay, not, not weird, okay? They're, they're very slow-paced, that's all. You speak very strangely. Why is that? Allow me to put it this way. Do you know why those with magical talent are feared? Because it's fear of the unknown. We fear what we don't understand. The Chantry. Not entirely, no. Those with magical talent attract demons and spirits. We can be possessed easily and thus become horrors known as abominations. Even those with minor talents attract hungry spirits. Anyone with the power may learn blood magic from these demons. Hence, we are considered dangerous. This is our curse. Thus, I was made tranquil, stripped of emotions and talent. I am no longer dangerous. That sounds like there's an implication that if you don't have emotions, you can't be possessed. Is that true? Doesn't sound like it should be true. How is someone made tranquil? Our forehead is branded with magic, which stills our talent and mind. The process is irreversible as far as I am aware. Oh my goodness. It sounds like a horrid practice. It might seem such to you, but I feel no horror. I am content to serve in my role. Means you don't feel emotions anymore. Well, perhaps they should tranquil all mages then. You might feel differently were you a mage. I don't want to say I feel badly for him because he doesn't feel badly for himself, and it's a little bit insulting to say that when someone doesn't feel that way about themselves, but we'll say it because I want to see what he says. <laughs> I feel badly for you. You do? I feel nothing. Hmm. As the name suggests, my existence is quite peaceful. I am alive, productive, and no danger to anyone. Surely that is not a terrible thing. Perhaps we may speak of something else. Do you need assistance? It's not a terrible thing for the rest of us, but it's a terrible thing, potentially, for you, yourself. What is enchantment exactly? It is the practice of folding magical lyrium into items first practiced by the dwarves. The Tranquil have learned oh. their runes, and we use them to apply a variety of magical effects. We create the glow lights, as well as the magic staff or the flaming blade. The irony, perhaps, is that it is our very disconnection to our former talents that allows the Tranquil to work with Lyrium so. A true mage could not. This is complicated. But you mentioned dwarves and magic? I thought dwarves couldn't do anything with magic at all. That must not be right. What sorts of enchantments are there? Runes exist that hold the power of the elements that increase strength or swiftness. Almost any spell can be given permanency, given enough skill and lyrium. Naturally, the greater the power required, the more expensive the rune will become to create. True power comes with a price, as we know only too well. Lyrium is some kind of like a magic energy source, I guess? I should go. Thank you for the information. Goodbye. Mm, we've got lots to learn here. We'll read all of it in due time. Let me just look around first. So, any last wishes I can help fulfill before you head into battle? Life is fleeting, you know. That pretty face could be decorating some darkspawn spear this time tomorrow. Shall I take that quiet glare as a no? Ah, oh, well, too bad. <laughs> you should be the one walking away. Who was that? Hey, lady. Was that a random lady? Oh, I guess so. Hello. Well, you're not what I thought you'd be. What did you think I'd be? Not a woman. Yet, here you are. The name's Davith. <laughs> it's about bloody time you came along. 
I was beginning to think they cooked this ritual up just for our benefit. You're not a Grey Warden, but you must be related. Hm. What do you know about this ritual? I happened to be sneaking around camp last night, see, and I heard a couple of Grey Wardens talking. So, I listen in for a bit. I'm thinking they plan to send us into the wilds. The wilds? We're right on the northern edge of the Kakari Wilds here, miles and miles of savage country. My home village isn't far, and I grew up on tales about the wilds. Even been in there a few times. <laughs> Scary place. Why are the wilds so frightening? Cannibals, beasts, witches, and now Darkspawn. What isn't to be scared of? It's all too secretive for me. Makes my nose twitch. I guess we'll have to wait and see, <laughs> like we have a choice. In the hierarchy of people that serve the kingdom, my initial impression was that the Grey Wardens exist outside of that hierarchy. Like, um, the king does not have direct control over what Grey Wardens do. Is that true? I, I don't know. I just sort of assumed that because, you know, Grey Wardens are like big heroes and all that. Like, we're not subjects of the king. Well, I wouldn't be here. No, 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 no. I'll watch your back if you watch mine. Oh, I'll watch your back. <laughs> wow, okay. Or I could just kill you. Uh, that's a little extreme. It's not <laughs> like I can miss the scenery, is it? <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I expect it's time to get back to Duncan. That's where I'll be if you need me for anything. You better get out of here, you. <sighs> oh. Oh. All these chests. The quartermaster. Have you seen an elf running about? Young woman, red hair, carrying a suit of chain. I don't believe so. Can't say I have, no. Blast it. Where did she go? That suit better be patched up when she gets back or by the maker up. Oh, oh, pardon my manners. My troubles are no concern of yours, I'm sure. Oh, I'm the quartermaster. Did you come for supplies? Do you need help tracking this girl down? Oh, I'm sure you have better things to do than run errands for me. I can find her myself. What kind of supplies do you have? Arms and armor, for the most part. It's for the King's men, but uh, you Grey Wardens can buy what you need for a modest price. I also have some uh, goods on the side I can provide. Strictly off the record, of course. To keep morale up, you understand. <laughs> Let me see what you have. Let me know what you'd like. Mmm, there's a lot going on in the inventory. I don't know what everything does, but I did have a, a bigger glance at the combat stuff. So later on, if we run into it again, I feel like I might do a little bit better. We probably have to go through some of the tutorials in the codex, so I didn't look at the tactics at all to begin with. But yeah, all this stuff, I have no idea what's good, what's not. I only have myself right now, so I guess I don't really need to worry about armor. Yeah, we don't have any easy way to... Um, really compare between these things. We have health potions. Oh, these are better health potions. Lesser ones. Injury kit. Regains health. So the difference between an injury kit and the health poultice is... This one heals health and up to three injuries. This one heals health. So injury... What is an injury? Some sort of a permanent damage, maybe? More permanent damage? Lyrium. Lyrium. Magic Lyrium. Oh, mana. It's mana. Okay. Do I need mana? I don't even... I don't even use magic. Small grease trap. Trap making. When triggered, this trap releases a small grease slick that causes minus 50% movement speed to creatures who enter the area. Friendly fire possible. Mm, there's lots of little things that we can... Maybe I can put this in my quick bar and... We'll be able to use it sometime. Frost rock. These are what? Crushing a frost rock gives a user 10% bonus to cold resistance for one minute. I'm just trying to read through some of this to understand what these are, because otherwise they'll just sit in my inventory and I don't know what they are. Lifestone. Crush it and get a 10% bonus to nature resistance. In the heat of battle, depending on what sort of statuses we get afflicted with, we have to respond accordingly, I guess. Metal shards for making traps, elf roots for health in... Dire situations, just 10 health. And then a bunch of weapons, armor, 
and rings and stuff. Quartz is... I guess maybe money? Greenstone, I guess, is maybe money. Blank vellum. Suitable for extracting illustration and script also for money, maybe? And this is just the, the mod for taking away the helmet. Okay, we got a quick look. Oh, okay, that, yeah, this is a much, much more organized view. Backpack. First of all, how much money do I have right now? One silver and 36 bronze. I think I don't need anything at the moment. I think. Oh, recipes. Maybe I should buy recipes so I know how to make stuff? Maybe. Well, nothing else right now. Thank you. But I, uh... Do you want to tell me about your other goods? Hello again. Is there something you need? Some supplies, perhaps? Let me see your other goods. So long as you keep it quiet. Bombs. More potent stuff. Look at it like that. Axes, arrows, bows. Better armor, I suppose. But I don't have any money right now, so I don't really need to look at any of this. I should be given all the supplies I need for fighting the battle, really. Crafting. Oh, these are for crafting. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Merchants! We can buy and sell stuff. When a transaction is open, you may use the buyback function to reverse any accidental sales or purchases at no loss of money. When the deal is closed, though, then you will have to pay up more. Okay. Oh, thank God you can enlarge this. Goodness. So we do have a whole bunch of other stuff here. Oh, because I, I read the thing, but I never clicked on it. Area map. M. Plot helpers. Ranked creatures. Uh-huh. Combat basics. Zoom out. In combat, get a better view. Right click to attack. Use a talent, click on the quick bar. Yes. Health poultices. Put it in your quick bar or double click it in the inventory. Or right click on it and use it. Controlling party members. Click on their portrait or their body. Or the tactics menu seems to be... um, Because we can never only really control one person at a time, right? So whenever we're not controlling our own person, the other people have some sort of a automatic AI, which we can set up using the tactics menu, is my understanding. Exploration, yeah, these are ones that we've read already. Fatigue, which increases mana and stamina cost. So, I guess yellow is stamina? I don't know where mana shows up though, or maybe I don't have any mana because I'm a warrior. Hmm. It's basically, if you, if you carry heavy stuff, then it takes more effort to do many things. Yeah, this is fine. Journal. Sustainabilities. I only have to activate it one time. Yes. I didn't realize where they set it. But like, if you roll over it, on the tooltip, on the other side of the screen. So precise striking, warrior, sustained. Sustain as in sustainability. Okay, got you. And then this one, activated ability. The opposite of a sustainability. Okay. Alright, alright, I got you. Okay. Uh, we do have a level up thingy. I think if I don't want to think too hard, maybe... <laughs> just put more into strength. That's, that's never going to be a bad thing for a warrior, probably. The specialization probably happens later on. Yeah, okay, I'll just... <laughs> I don't even... Sure. You know what? That's fine. Coercion. 12... Oh, hold on. Oh, I can still change, as I still have this open. So cunning... I think coercion might be important for conversation stuff. So this one needs 12 cunning. Yeah, the character's ability to read and influence others has improved. This is going to be important for getting people to do stuff that we want them to. So why don't we get... Oh, we have 12 cunning. Perfect. We'll get one more, though. 14. Because that means that next time I can do the 14 cunning, too. So I'll, I'll do this one for now. Uh-huh. But just to have a look here, uh, combat. Yeah, I don't think the, the herbalism is going to be that important for now. Because we can buy the stuff. Talents. I'm not level 4 yet, so I can't really put more into here. Shield defense. 
So we have Shield Bash right now. The character gains plus 10 attack, dealing normal damage as well as knocking the target off its feet. Yes, we saw this happen in the battle earlier. This is a good way to um, stop a target from attacking, especially if we get surrounded by multiple people, I guess. Hmm, shield defense means that we can get more defense in exchange for not being able to attack well. Shield block. So what we can do is maybe, if we have multiple people, have one person activate a shield block or a shield defense, and then everyone will gang up on the person while this person's tanking everything. It's not just about myself. It's about how my whole, whole set of companions interacts with the battlefield and all the people in it. I guess? Something like that? But we don't have any companions right now, so it's hard to see if these are gonna be that great. Can I leave this one for now? Is that alright? I'll just have one point here for the moment. We're not really in the middle of battle anyway. We are... Oh, Alistair is here. Do we want to look around before we talk to Alistair? Sure. So Alistair is over there probably. Kennelmaster. master. Excuse me, I must get the hounds ready for battle. Half the dogs are sick from darkspawn blood. It's terrible. Oh. Well, we have a lot of dogs here. I thought my dog was special, but we have a whole bunch of them. These are all Mabari hounds. You there, elf. What's your name? Uh, it, it, it's Pick, sir. Go tell Turn Logan that the war party's ready to begin scouting. We'll send word if we find anything amiss. Yes, sir. R right away, sir. If you have business with the Ash Warriors, I suggest you speak to our commander. Is that a band of mercenaries? What do you need? You haven't brought more instructions from the turn, I hope. No, I haven't. If you're not from the turn, what do you want? We're busy. Mm, can I ask you something? Make it quick. What are you preparing for? To scout the wilds and watch the progression of the Darkspawn Horde. With luck, we'll find and slaughter many stragglers. The hunt will be good if my hound survives the blood of his prey. If he dies, I shall mourn tonight. Survives the blood? What do you mean? Is there getting sick? Darkspawn blood is poisonous, mm. but not always fatal. Those who survive grow immune to its effects. The Wardens say the tainted blood drives even the survivors mad eventually. But not today. Today, we hunt and we kill. Is that only by ingestion or just touching it? Because I guess dogs, their main way to attack is to bite people which means it's really easy to ingest it, but people normally would not come into contact with blood inside their own system, right? So do people get infected is what I'm really trying to get at here. Wouldn't it be smarter to leave your dogs behind? They fight at our side. We don't fret over their safety as if they were children. Why have you painted your dogs? They use scent to distinguish us from our enemies, but the blood of battle can confuse them. So we paint ourselves with Cadiz, which overpowers the blood, and also paint our hounds so they know we are the same. That's smart. What if the enemy is painted with Cadiz as well? <laughs> Why? Would you steal our Cadiz and give it to the Darkspawn Hordes? <laughs> Absolutely not. Good. I hear death is unpleasant. <laughs> I should be going. My thanks. There is hunting to be done, and I'll not be kept from it. I didn't get to ask about how they're different. We're almost ready to scout the wilds. With luck, we'll slaughter a few darkspawn. <laughs> so, what do you want? Be quick about it. You don't look like the other soldiers in the army. We aren't. We're Ash Warriors. What is an Ash Warrior? Our training has been passed down since Lathias the Dwarf's son first harnessed the battle rage of the dwarves. It is an old tale. Oh, but you're humans. Do you take from Dwarven customs? Can I hear this old tale? I am no bard, but I will do my best. Lathias was a clan tribesman. Some said he was too short to be a warrior, but he was strong and fierce. 
His chieftain sent him to the dwarves of Ulzamar to negotiate an alliance, where he fell in love with the king's daughter, Skya, and brought her back to his tribe. She taught Lathias to use the dwarven battle wrath to summon his strength and ignore all pain. Lathias then taught this to the clan who made him their chieftain. And then they feasted on blood and lived happily ever after? Not in this tale, friend. Lathias' prowess earned him the love of Morrigan, a beautiful chieftain of another tribe. When Skaia learned of his seduction, she returned to her people. Lathias was grieved. He sent Morrigan away, but this only vexed her and began a long war between their tribes. In the end, Lathias slew Morrigan in single combat. However, his wounds were great, and he perished when the rage ended. The dwarves came from Orzammar that day and gave Lathias an honored burial in the mountains. And we live by his teachings even today. That you shouldn't piss off women. <laughs> what happened to his wife, Skaya? It is said that before the final battle, she returned to Luthias and gave him a shirt of dwarven chain, along with a final night of passion. Then she was gone forever. If she lived on in Orzammar, only the dwarven folk could say for certain. So he betrayed his wife and killed his lover? He was a great man with great passions. Perhaps you'll hear a more inspiring version in a tavern someday. Hmm, so what does an Ash Warrior do? We harness the rage inside us, nurture it, and draw it out so we cannot fall in battle until our last foe is slain. It is a dwarven discipline, but we've adapted it to let us fight alongside our hounds. That is our way. I trust my hound with my life, as he trusts me with his. I have a Mabari hound of my own. Then you are most fortunate. A trained Mabari hound is as dangerous as any sword. We do not speak of a city pet or, or those things that sit in an old woman's lap. Well, I'll consider myself fortunate then. Thank you. I should be going. My thanks. There is hunting to be done, and I'll not be kept from it. Hmm. There's lots of little, little smaller factions here because we don't have any one camp that has enough forces to repel back the Darkspawn because they are so numerous.